Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim! Last time was... Where am I? I seen the Night Gate team! This time... Erking and the Grancis Tabor. <sighs> Those bandits back there. Bringing off the night down the night fellow. Mercy is deep. We have to catch up to him before it's too late. I'm ready, let's go. We should tread carefully. I wouldn't be surprised if he's left behind a few surprises for us. also have no sense of smell. This place reeks. What are the eyes of the Balmor? A few years before Mercer murdered Gallus, the guild took in a thief who specialized in dwarven antiquities. The thief had broken into a nobleman's home somewhere in Windhelm, made off with a small figurine of a snow elf with crystalline eyes. A snow elf? Aye. That's what the former were known as long ago. Before they became the blind monstrosities they are today. When Gallus took one look at this statue, he knew it was something special. He took it right up to Enter at the College of Winterhold. Didn't take long for Enter to find a book in the college's library that told of Birkenbach and a great statue with gemmed eyes and teeth. So the eyes of the Volmor are gems? Not just ordinary gems. They are said to be flawlessly cut, and as big as a man's head. Can you imagine how much they're worth? Gallus and Mercer spent the better part of a month infiltrating Urkenbach, but the dwarves had protected the place far too well. There were just too many obstacles blocking the way. The plans were shelved, and the rest is history. Do you think Mercer knows we're here? The last seems to think old Mercer is pulling a fast one on us. Leading us here and letting the dwarven constructs wear us down. I've learned to trust her lead at this point. After all, we Nike Gales need to stick together. Eh? Suddenly you had to cut. This place is looking late. How did the dwarves find their way around? Do you think a Mercer knows we're here? Mercer's been careful so far. I don't think he'd just leave those plans behind unless he had his reasons. For someone in possession of the skeleton key, stealing the eyes of the farmer would be child's play. No, he needs to ambush us down here. I'm almost certain of it. Alright, we don't wander up here too far, or else we'll be forced to come and find you. Let's go! Right behind you. Some people decide to never finish this quest line just for the point of actually 
keeping the skeleton key. But here's the thing, there are benefits to not keeping it. One very obvious benefit is white rain. What's that? I'm on it, Lassie. Damn it, there's no way through. He's toying with us. He wants us to follow. Aye, lads, and we'll be ready for him. Wait an hour. Come on, group! He definitely does want us to fall. Never seen anything like it in my life last year. I'm not saying that I am. I imagine the roaches hidden within these walls. The liar! Keep as quiet as you can. The phone will ring at night. They can still hear us. Touching back. No light sides down there. With us, the luck would have it is exactly where the game would have us. Honestly, I have zero hopes of for beating these four more without being aggressive. Realistically, we shouldn't be needing to refill our blade, I mean our mace, much more.
Wait, you have a boy, Zane. Does the boy want to have a lot of poisons tell you which faction will be the next one I'll focus on? Ah! Oh, ten soldiers. He came from here. What's triggering you? Old soldier. Wait. No, that's not it. Could it be this? Some chest that that's not this. I'm not gonna turn down the lock picking experience. I think I get the solution. Wait an hour. To auto save. Looks like we can take the boat over toward the high road across this chamber. Your choice. Seems like either road is for more infested. I heard some. <sighs> Oh, 
I heard something. What? So it's a pun kill. Some soul is sing to the wind. And they seem to have done a good job defeating this former up here. How likely do you think it is? Huh? And the Bulmore can see us. Thus, this Bulmore on that tower is a perfect crossbow snipe. And it does. In the time it took me to cross both. That four more that was on that tower. Crime is one thing. Murder is another. Merciful acts are the best. How is crime one thing but murder another? The entire tower collapsed. Mm -hmm. It's not the seat. It must be Mercer. I'll we'll have to find another way around. Mercer was able to knock this thing down at a glance. He said two. In his hands, there's no telling what he's capable of.
my contacts. A scroll of the tent line. We have a shelter that does just that for free. Is that towards a hint of Dr. Mercer's weak to fire? Honestly, I doubt it. I have absolutely zero. Believe Mercer's weak to fire. <sighs> then how about to let's backtrack a bit? <sighs> Um, no dying on me, sir. What about monstrosity? It's a dwarf satirical, both tough and very dangerous. We can take the beast on or sneak around. Call us. From there. I'm not going to try to Why does the the game hurt hand you can sneak against the bed? I think I get why Dwarven Centurions are I mean what was I thinking of? Go on, joke around that me and the red eyes and me, uh, I don't. But you're free to joke. If I did happen to have amnesia, you probably wouldn't have your uploads. Ever. That's how bad amnesia can be for some. Uh, 
Ugh. Well, we're still somewhat safe. Why don't we see what? That's a good effect. Looks alike. Never mind. We have to go this way round. Come on, come drop in on us. Love it when your foes are uh, dropping on when you want them to. Because of how stupid a move it would be. In general, bear traps don't deal much damage. So I honestly don't get why there's bear traps so late in this quest line. Uh. I honestly like to view myself as someone who has some un understanding of the games he's playing when it's not a blind. We 
Where are we? Half an hour. Our one-handed skill is getting rather high. Same with our heavy armor. Our one-handed is one away from max. Heavy armor? We're at right max. I may honestly consider swapping our dragon bone armor out. For something a bit less defending. Dragon scale. That's a miscellaneous for yeah. Not a fourth weapon. Bring yours! My Talos, Mercer has a lot to answer for. Let me the I do have one slide tucked away in my head for something to do. Once I have Um, I just view that to being that. Oh. I just don't uh, see why.
that trap. even exists wait nobody thought they were real but I saw them the eyes of the snow elves the dwarves, but they took them from the far moor, but they themselves were born. A statue built in secret by the slaves, the eyes burn into you, and I see them even now. Srafa escaped through the collapsing tunnel, but he'll never escape what we've seen. Men will never believe him, and he'll be driven mad by the knowledge that he'll never see them again. But I may yet see them again before I die. I think I may know what the point is. Threatened and uh, making it so that you have some ah! Ah! Mandarin. Take a Bring every single trap. Mandred, why do you trigger every single trap in the area? I don't know, it feels uh, like a good idea. For all of you wondering if I meant that, I was being sarcastic. But I know you will. You will will believe I want it. Okay. There's seriously be a case of I'm just too tall. Oh. 
I even enter there? There are different types in Skyrim. And for some reason, I think... The dungeons are made with the expectations... ...of you picking certain races over the others. I think that's uh, the path we should be going. Seems like it just chorus chitin and a bull more shield is over there. And a bull more helmet. Um, throw it. I need to see. Already looted you in my blindness. Out of the way! You probably now see why I don't like Fallout. They're always in your way, in your way, in your way. The only follower I actually care for is a very specific one. And no, it's not an animal. Well, animal is not exactly. The case thing not Honestly, it's a spoiler to say who she is at the moment. Let's wait an hour.
if I could mod Skyrim. I'll tell you right to know who would be my follower. Captain America. Or the Incredible Hulk. But I can't. I lack the required stuff to mod Skyrim. Meandered! What is the required stuff? Simple. Skyrim PC ADC. The only mods, well, Skyrim PS3 may be moddable, if my dad is to be believed by me. Or Skyrim Xbox. One? It is him? I'm very much in your heart. Ah! 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 Well, I guess I have to jump down. If I miss anything in a dungeon, Please let me know. We must prepare ourselves. Crime is one thing. Murder is another. Mercer will answer for this. Hey, you all! If any luck, this will be Mercy's final day alive. He hasn't seen us yet. Carlisle, when will you learn you can't get the drop on me? A creature all run before me, I can feel a sudden shift in the wind. At that moment, I knew it would end with one of us at the end of a 
please. Give them me the key, Mercer. What's Carlisle still in your head? Tales of thieves with honor, boats right with falsehoods and broken promises. Not true. Care about you, the key, or anything having to do with the guild. It's not. I don't believe you. Nocturnal guides me. Then it appears the shadows shroud more than your presence. They blind your wisdom as well. Our actions fall as one and the same. Both of us lie, cheat, and steal to further our own ends. The difference is I still have on. It's clear you'll never see the skeleton key as I do, as an instrument of limitless wealth. Instead, you've chosen to fall over your own foolish code. If anyone falls, it will be you. Then the day is past, and once again, my blade will taste Nightingale Black. <laughs> Mercer, how tough little tricks are you? That key is our quest item. His sword was a dwarven sword of the power. I see our escape. Well, their escape. Sorry, boss. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time. I can't believe it's over. Twenty five years of exile are just like that. It's done. All that remains is to ensure the safe return of the skeleton key. Sounds like it will be a simple task. I'm afraid it's not that simple. 
When the skeleton key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulchre, our access to the inner sanctum was removed. The only way to bring it back would be through the Pilgrim's Path. I take it you never used the, the Pilgrim's Path. It wasn't created for the Nightingales. It was created to test those who wish to serve Nocturne in other ways. As a consequence, I have no knowledge of what you were facing. Then we the best get started. The instincts to call the one you are wearing. And I... I can't bear to face Nocturne on after my failure to protect the king. I'm afraid you'll have to face the end of your journey alone. Don't worry, I'll return the key. Take this with you. I'm not certain if it will help with the walls of the sepulchre. I certainly don't need it as much as you. I've had this for almost my entire life, and it's never let me down. I hope it brings you the same luck. <coughs> Tell me about the... I don't understand why you won't come with me. I've been a nightingale for a third long time. I sold my allegiance to Nocturnal in exchange for many profitable gifts and people. Falling in love with Thalys went wrong. It was a distraction that allowed the sepulchre to be desecrated, and it likely cost him his life. Until the key is returned, I will never set foot inside that place again. Tell me about the ancients. The ancients of stone is the master of the Romanian scene. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this ancient mystery becomes invisible. Sages of strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great joy. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making him stronger. The agent of subterfuge utilizes shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting with the nightingale for a later time. Tell me about the conduit inside the septic pod. The conduit to Nocturnal Twelve in the realm of Evra has been in Skyrim, well, longer than recorded history. The Twilight Sepulchre was constructed around it by Marin and Mur in order to shield it from those who would exploit its power. It's through this conduit that we're given Nocturnal's greatest gift, our luck. What she gains in return is a What's uh, the story with the Pilgrim's Path? Even though Nocturnal doesn't desire worship in the traditional sense, the Twilight Sepulchre propagated a small group of priests. Of course, they never come into direct contact with Nocturnal, but they insisted they had her faith. As part of their duties, the priests created all sorts of faceless rituals and ceremonies, all on Nocturnal's behalf. This uh, didn't interfere with the nightingales? These priests weren't a threat to the skeleton key or the conduit to Nocturnal's realm, so they were tolerated. One of their ceremonies involved the pilgrim's path, a so-called test of worthiness. If a pilgrim was able to complete the path, it was said that they would live forever in twilight. What that means is anyone's <laughs> the Nightingale Bow, a unique weapon. Yes, 
Sorry, boss. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time. Sorry, boss. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time. Honestly, with a skeleton key, you can break into anything <sighs> and anywhere. So the skeleton key is the best weapon in all of Skyrim. If you wish to keep it. But if you keep it. You're never beating the thief skill. You don't need your lock picking skill to, uh, if you have The skeleton key. It is by its very name. A skeleton key. A key that can pick any lock. Open anything you want open. It's a the only weapon and the best weapon if you want to be an expert thief in Skyrim. But are you really the expert thief if you rely on the skeleton key. My answer? No. But that's just me. I personally choose to not have items like that forever. For the one disadvantage, you can to beat the game entirely. As long as you have this one key, you can pick it more. And it may also allow you access to 
doors you made a key for. But I haven't tested. As this is the very first time I've ever had this key. So next time after I sleep and finish of this recording session, we'll be turning in the skeleton key. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. But most of all, as always, Keep it joyful!